Hey Farm Fam, welcome back. But if you're new to this channel, my name's Megan and my brother Stan and I run Sunnyside Up Pastures where we grow food for people who care, like you. You care whether it's about your health or your family or the environment or animal welfare. You care about something and that's why you're here. This week, we have been blessed with rain. I think if I remember we got a third of an inch which is a pretty big deal for around here. It's kind of put off tractor work, but that's okay. We'd rather have rain for right now. And uh, also this week, uh, Christy's brother, James and his wife and kids came and visited and Samantha and everyone else was really excited because she got to show off her new chicks. That's a super right Liam, Lex, do you want to come in? The chicks are a week and two or three days old. Oh, we can try. Oh, there's two. It's not fun to hold them sometimes. Sometimes you they want to poop on you. No. No. They can Oh, they're a lot bigger, huh? Yeah, they're a week and like two or three days old. Oh, okay, they grow big so fast. I know. These chicks will be added to her laying hen flock, her laying flock, as they get older. But for now, they're gonna stay in the brooder until they grow their protective adult feathers. As you've probably seen and know, chicks are super cute. They're little fluff balls and just, they're really adorable and they're cute with their little chirping. But not very many people know how much work goes into making sure these chicks stay happy, healthy, and safe. Samantha works really hard to keep these chicks uh, well provided for. She gets them fresh non-GMO feed and fresh water. Uh, she even wipes their butts. You heard me right. She wipes them like a baby. And I'll tell you why this happens. So chicks often get this condition called pasty butt. And it's actually kind of, I wanna say common with birds, but normally they have a mother that will remove the feces from them. But when you buy chicks from a store, they don't have that. And so these chicks get this, uh, their feces will stick to their vent. And a vent is what is called with a chick where the poop comes out, because they only have one hole. So the vent, they poop, it gets stuck. And if this isn't cleaned immediately, the chicks will die shortly thereafter, maybe like a day or so later. So every morning, Samantha goes out to the brooder and she flips them up and she wipes them and cleans them off any of the chicks that are having a problem with this. I don't envy Samantha's job about cleaning the, cleaning the chicks like this, but she cares. And so she does whatever is necessary to make sure that her chicks stay healthy. So one of the crucial items that chicks need is a brooder or some protective enclosure. For us, the chickens are outside. I know some people put chickens inside, but that's another story. So Stan built this brooder a couple of years ago and it doesn't look fancy, but it's awesome and it really does well for the chicks. It's structured so it keeps all like rain, snow, whatever, away from the chicks and at the top, there is this mesh triangle at each end on the top. And this allows for airflow to come through so the chicks get fresh air and this nice ventilation where it's way up here. It doesn't chill the chicks. And so they'll, they still stay warm while getting that fresh air. Chicks need to stay warm. And so inside that brooder, there is a heating plate. And that allows for whenever the chicks get chilly, they can stand under the heating plate and keeps them warm. And one great thing about the heating plate is that unlike a heating lamp, that light doesn't always allow for a natural sleep cycle. So the plate doesn't have any light. And so it allows the chicks to have a more natural sleep cycle, which is you know what we go for is a more natural approach to raising animals. And then the importantest part, the most important part, well, I wanna say that, is the carbonaceous diaper. Now, if you've never heard of that, which is fine, I never did, I think it's a really funny word because it has the word diaper in it, 
but every animal should have a diaper. So, have you ever been to an animal farm, cow, pig, poultry, whatever, or someone's backyard where they didn't clean up after their animals and you just got your socks just blown off of you and not in a good way, or your eyes start watering just because the smell is so horrendous? Well, that's because these animals don't have a diaper. Most animals in whether personal use or conventional use are in the same place all the time. And when that happens, there's a lot of feces and urine buildup and that allows for ammonia and the smell and it just gets really bad. And it's also harmful to the animals to live in that kind of environment. So with these chicks, where they're gonna be in this brooder for the next few weeks, we put down a carbonaceous diaper or a level of bedding that is carbon, whether that's straw, wood shavings, wood chips, depending on the animal is what you would use. And you put this layer down. It's not just a skimpy layer. You want a nice deep layer. So when, we'll sit with the chicks, when they poop on it, it soaks up all of those chemicals and other things in there that cause the smell and can cause health problems for the chicks. It soaks that up and then after a week or so, or depending on how many chicks or what's going on, Samantha will add another layer to always have freshness on it. So actually when you go into this brooder and you smell, it actually smells good. I mean, you can tell that animals live there, but not in a slap your face way. Like a, oh, I can tell an animal's here, but it smells like wood because they use wood shavings and it smells pleasant. It's, it's amazing. So as long as there's enough carbon, any, doesn't matter what animal it is, and they won't make your eyes bleed with the smell. So this, um, we talked about the health part and I have seen this where cows have sores on their hooves and their chest from laying and their feces and you know if you're laying in that then of course that's going to cause sickness and disease which is going to allow which is going to bring farmers and ranchers that are going to use vaccines antibiotics and other unnatural chemical influences to uh, keep the animals healthy. So if we allow this diaper or with movement of animals, then we don't have to worry about those kind of sicknesses. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for caring. Whether you care about how animals are treated, feeding your family healthy, nutrients-dense food, supporting local farmers, local businesses, then welcome to the family. Your caring is changing the world and you're allowing other people to pursue this better and more natural way of living by encouraging others to do that through your example and also by supporting people who are also trying to do this like us. So thank you, I will see you next time, bye.